Larson here at the photo booth with some more stuff sent in from Toy Galaxy viewers. Uh, up first, we have Richard from Bridgeport, Connecticut. He is Argor76 on IG, uh, on IG, I put IG in my notes, it's on Instagram, obviously. Uh, Richard and, uh, and his fiance watched the show together. Uh, he said the show helped them get back into collecting. Uh, Richard into uh, G.I. Joe and Masters of the Universe, fiance into, I don't think, I don't think the fiance's name was uh, in the note. It might have been. It may, I will, we'll just assume it was. I don't want to get Richard in trouble or anything. But uh, uh, his fiance collects uh, Rainbow Bright Ewoks and Care Bears uh, in, uh, in a recent episode. I think it might have been in the last episode. I mentioned that uh, I had picked up this McFarlane Toys uh, Hunter, which I'm told is a class, not a name, uh, from the game Destiny. Um, I had picked up this figure recently, and uh, my intent was that I wanted to do a custom figure, uh, and I still do, um, of this piece. Uh, but my complaint with the previous figure was that it had broke uh, right out of the package. I pretty much just, this leg, I pretty much just moved it forward, and you can see that this belt here... Uh, inhibits that frontward motion, uh, and uh, this pin that was in there, just, I don't think I have the other one handy. Uh, do some prep, Dan. Jeez, uh, the pin was so tiny that's in here that connects this leg. It just snapped right off like it was made out of spaghetti. Um, and uh, so Richard sent in a replacement for that. Very much appreciated. Very cool. Um, I will definitely try to make my custom with this one and uh, keep the other one for scrap pieces or, or whatever I might need, uh, or if anything breaks on this one. Uh, and then also sent in, this is vintage Kenner Fett uh, for the Boba Set. Focus uh, number 489. Uh, very nice piece, nice tight joints, a uh, bit of wear, seen some battles, some scratching up there, uh, just the way we like them, some fading, but not uh, not too bad. Uh, very cool piece. Thank you very much to Richard and Fiance for both of these pieces. Almost there. Next up is Todd from Indianapolis. Todd, uh, he is uh, Todd Creed Art on Instagram. Uh, he sent in, of course, Boba Fett, uh, Boba Fett number 490 for the Boba set uh, on a custom made blister card here. And uh, this is this is not the first time that Todd has sent in a Boba Fett for the Boba set and not the first time he sent one in on a custom card. Uh, there was a piece back in 2017 that was on a different custom card. Uh, that uh, very cool piece. And <laughs> just to, to Todd and everyone else who doesn't already know this, that uh, it, in order to just uh, check, check this out, the uh, free blue snaggletooth as if, uh, piece on the bottom here. Uh, Fed is actually strapped in uh, by a little piece of uh, elastic there uh, on both his neck and ankles. And then on the back here we have a fully custom card with all kinds of fun little uh, Easter eggs and stuff and things. Uh, like I said, a lot of fun. I appreciate the time and effort that went into this. Uh, but everybody needs to know that uh, I can't leave him in here like this. I will have to take him out. Uh, but Todd has done it in such a way that I can actually remove this elastic, remove this elastic, and then put him back in here if I if I uh, wanted to. Um, I can't I can't display him uh, as part of the set if they're actually you know permanently attached to cards or anything like that. Uh, so I appreciate the. Uh, the effort made to make that a removable thing so I can put it back in. If nothing else, I'll obviously I would hang on to the card and add that to my uh, box of Boba Set related ephemera. Uh, but another... He's got good joints. He's, his joints are fine. He's looking good. He's got nice uh, ni nice paint wear. All the, all the good hallmarks. Oh, his uh, Power of the Force blaster came out of here. Uh, all the hallmark, hallmarks of a uh, nicely worn, nicely loved that action figure so thank you again to todd check him out on instagram next up is matt from berkshire Berk berkshire in the uk uh matt has previously uh, earlier this year sent in some incredible action force pieces uh they were the first pieces really that i'd ever uh, first action force it's back up for a second here action force is the uk version essentially of gi joe early in the line it was almost more of a almost more of a, like a fisher price adventure people kind of line 5 poa uh, but with some military soldiers as well uh, and it became sort of the three and three quarter inch gi joe uh, action force now of course uh, the name no longer belongs to Hasbro. Bobby Valla, uh, formerly of Hasbro, uh, purchased the name Action Force and just recently, like yesterday, <laughs> had a successful Kickstarter to reboot the Action Force uh, name under his uh, ownership. 
Uh, he also purchased the name Steel Brigade from Hasbro. Uh, they let, they let the names lapse, you know. So uh, he purchased them. He put together a uh, six inch um, military style uh, GI Joe inspired, but not related to GI Joe uh, line of figures. And you know, congratulations to him for finally getting that uh, kick started. I think a video ago, two videos ago, I had some of the Bobby had sent out some of the. Uh, early test shots and we were able to take a look at those so thank you to everybody who kicked in for that and helped get that funded again i have no financial stake in it uh, i just i ordered my one figure <laughs> and uh, i was glad to see it get funded because i like to help out those folks back to the story at hand uh, matt from berkshire uh, in the uk sent in some action force pieces early in the year first time i'd have a I had a chance to actually hold them and uh, first time i'd ever been able to add any to my collection obviously you can't have one without the other and he had even included some uh, blister cards, so that was really neat. Uh, Matt, in his note in this box, said that he thought he was all out of doubles, but, uh, you know, he was cleaning out his attic, and as as happens, wouldn't you know it, uh, he found some more action figure, uh, action force doubles, including some vehicles. So, uh, even more importantly, is that he has already <laughs> done the work to uh, label them for me because I don't know the figures one from the other without actually uh, pulling up those blister cards or uh, a, a site like yojo.com. I think these are covered at yojo.com um, or a, a site that's actually going to catalog these. So this is a uh, British paratrooper. We've got this guy is fantastic. Uh, it says Q-Force on it, and that is a straight up uh, regular G.I. Joe backpack there. Uh, this guy, I would have said I thought was actually the, the Bell Diver from Adventure People mold, but that is definitely not the uh, Adventure People Bell Diver mold. Um, and that guy is just gorgeous. That, uh, but that jetpack ain't going to work for him because he doesn't have a peg hole in his back. Uh, we've got the Royal Marine. Uh, he's got his rifle there. We have, this is a couple of people in here. Action Force First Wave, Deep Sea Diver, Mission Pilot, Royal Marine and Naval Assault. Ah, oh, these guys are fantastic. You know, I, I kind of, I sort of come and go with uh, five POA things, five, five points of articulation. Um, that's, you know, two shoulders, two hips and neck. I do have quite a few figures. I, I appreciate, this guy's a little Boba Fetish here with his uh, mitts and the pockets on his pants and stuff and his helmet. Um, I do appreciate the aesthetic and the sort of vintage feel. I do have some of the like Super 7 reaction figures just, you know, because of that. Uh, but there is that part of me that still remembers being a kid uh, and being frustrated by the lack of articulation. Um, I'm always down for a pilot. Always down for a pilot. Yeah. And this guy's obviously the same old as this guy. I assume one of these came out first. Maybe Q-Force was second. I'll have to look into that. There's some weird arm poses, I gotta say. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on here. He looks like he's uh, ready for a pose down or something here. But All right, so we got those four. We've got these guys. Uh, over here we have another... Uh, yes, another mission pilot. Uh, accessories, gray life jacket. Oh, that's cool. All right, so that probably just folds right over him. Very cool. And here we have... Ooh, all right. There are definitely figures that I was familiar with that I've never owned. I already said that. I've never owned them. I've never seen them in person. This guy is called Muton. Mutron? I think it's called Muton. Uh, he's part of the Red Shadows, which is the sort of Cobra element of action force uh clearly just the same mold as uh those two previous deep sea divers but look at this mess on his head <laughs> he's got this amazing translucent red uh targeting lens i don't know some kind of radar dish on his head i don't know if this is supposed to be i'm assuming this is a gun this is the targeting method this is his range finder and this is his gun uh and otherwise it's that same figure and these elements just uh snap on i don't know if they're supposed to move i don't really want to force them I might have to do some uh, research on my own with these. I think uh, I think Toy Poloi has covered Action Force in this scale a few times. Might have to pull up some of his videos and see what uh, the deal is with these. But that's uh, that's amazing. Um, I know there's like a lizard guy, Kraken. I think his name is, um, and that, this is complete too. Wow, he marked it complete. That's amazing. That's a very very cool piece. Uh, here we have uh, Z-Force. We got Q-Force and Z-Force. Infantry Man. Nice. Here is... Oh, he did say... Uh, he did say that there were some bits that he just sort of... They got scooped up into the assortment of things as he was pulling stuff out of the attic. And that uh, that's essentially what's here. We've got some uh, armored Cobra Commander pieces. 
Uh, we've got, this is a Destro arm, some weapons. We've got a uh, Iron Grenadier's sword. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff there. I don't know how much of that is actually uh, of any value or, or useful. Uh, here we've got Z-Force radio operator. Nice. Uh, it's the kind of thing, like, uh, I've always been a fan of uh, the sort of generic troops, you know. Not not the guys that are in leadership, not the special characters, but generic troops are a blast. They're just, that's because you, you always want to think, like, oh, if I was in G.I. Joe, I would be Duke. I would be Snake Eyes. And it's like, nah, you'd probably be the radio operator, you know. I mean, what skills do you really have? Uh, I always liked Dial Tone for being that radio operator. I always liked Lifeline, you know, just the, the medic. You know, I, I found that I was able to come up with much more interesting stories with those guys than with the key players. The key players always have... Good gosh. More Q4 stuff here. Uh, the, the, the marquee guys, those feature guys, they've always got amazing stories. They're always doing crazy heroic things, so it's not really a surprise when they do heroic things. But yeah, when Dial, dial Tone does something, when the mission hinges on Dial Tone... <laughs> Uh, that's when you know special things are happening, and that that always I, I always found that fascinating. You know, when Dial Tone takes out Serpentor, it's like that's a big deal. You know, that's that's going to make the yearbook at the end of the year. But you know, Snake Eyes does it. It's like ah, it's just Tuesday, whatever. Uh, so this actually doesn't have any explanation on here as to who these amazing amazing guys are. Uh, he's obviously the same dude as before. This guy looks like he's got radio operators gear that was over there, and I don't even know what's going on with this guy. The, the I don't. <laughs> this is. This feels almost like a mask sort of uh, figure with all those attachments and stuff. Uh, I'm guessing this comes down here-ish. Uh, I don't know how this slides on. I don't want to wreck. Oh, there we go. I don't want to wreck it, but that sure seems like that's how that goes. Like that. Pretty cool. That's cool. And he's got his flippers. Uh, yep, those are removable. Wow, very cool stuff. Like I said, uh, very adventure people. -y. I I don't know the history of this line with respect to uh, how that came about. How the where who who inspired who, um, which uh, which came first. We got a vehicle here. I don't know what this vehicle is called. Looks like the Vamp, but it is clearly not. Uh, Action Force CPG. That's awesome. And then we've got this little mini hovercraft. Very cool. I don't know how any of this stuff snaps on. This looks like it goes here, though. I don't want to force anything right now because I don't want to... looks like it might be a little bit uh, a little bit dry, but stickers are in great shape. I'm gonna wipe it down with a sponge or something. What a cool little piece. That's, you know, that would have been cool if that had come uh, this way instead of stuff that just went that way. It would have been nice to see that piece in the U.S. This is Space Force. Nice! Alright, whose hat is this? This is probably your hat. That's cool. What? These guys are fantastic. I don't know whose gun this is. Look at this dude! What is he? This is Multars, or who this is. From Space Coast, Coast to Coast. I don't even know what's going on with these guys. These guys are fantastic. Uh, if, you know, I don't, I don't know how many figures total are in this line. I don't know how far it survived. I'm guessing this guy is Space Force. And this guy is uh, Sergeant Rock. I don't know where he goes. Uh, we got some missiles. We've got this little thing. I feel like this goes with that diver guy who had the helmet on the top of his head. One missile on the bottom there. Um, this thing, this looks like it might be associated with that, but I can't say for sure. These are just fun little, you know, one, one shot, you know, solo mission kind of vehicle things. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Oh man. All right. So let's start with this photo. Shot of my Snowtrooper collection, uh, November 8th, uh, oof, I don't know if that's the U.S. version of the <laughs> international version of the date. I don't know if that's uh, August 11th or uh, November 8th. I'm going to go August 11th since this box uh, has certainly been in my possession since uh, well before November. Uh, but that's his Snowtrooper collection. Nicely done there. And then a bunch of other fun stuff here. Uh, a couple more troops here. We've got... Uh, Tomax or Zamot? Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember who has the scar. I think Tomax has the mm, I think Zamot has the scar. Uh, but his, his uh, Cobra logo there is in really nice shape. Uh, a couple of G.I. Joe accessories, another missile. We've got a uh, Tauntaun. Uh, I saw, yep, here he is. Here's Han. There we go. Uh, I don't know why his arm is up like that, but it is. 
yeah, just a couple of the bits. We've got eels from regular G.I. Joe. Chewbacca probably goes here as well. Uh, this little thing, I don't know what this is. Oh, hang on. This little cockpit guy, I don't know if somebody goes in there. Just, everything's slippery. There we go. Uh, I don't know what this is from. Feel free to Kao Yokoyama 2003. I don't know what this goes to. Let me know in the comments. Just pop out. Oh. Okay. This kind of looks like one of those, like, Kubricks or whatever. I don't think it is from that. Uh, just a similar line, but I don't know. I don't recognize the design of that particular trooper thing. Uh, more missiles. Oh, here's the other one. Tomax and Zamot. Both in, in uh, uh, crotches intact. Uh, thumbs intact. Everything's good there. Who's this guy? All right. He's, uh, he looks important. He's got that skull and crossbones. He's a Red Shadows guy for sure. He looks like the doctor. You know, he's like the evil professor. He's going to create a Frankenstein that's going to go after the good guys. Another Han. Han. Little R2. Headless Stormtrooper. Some more Action Force gear. Ah, look at this. <laughs> Somehow the uh, Bespin security guard got in there. He's missing the gold on his chest. That's okay. And then a bunch of other bits. Just some random weapons and stuff in here. We got a pin of... Uh, no idea what that is. Is it from the thing? Yeah, let me focus so you can... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, a bunch of fun... Oh, look at this! And Missiles from the Silver Mirage. Uh, we got some cold, hard cash. It says 50. But there's more than 50 there, because those are $100 bills. What's, uh... How did this much UK cash... Or this much US cash make it uh, to the UK? Either way... I'm, uh, my action figure is getting paid tonight. Uh, so that's cool. Lots of really amazing fun stuff here. Uh, can't say thank you enough for, for this, for literally building up my action force collection from zero, from absolutely nothing to, uh, just a, a bunch of really awesome, cool figures. And I'm going to have to go figure out what, what the rest of this line is and, and how to get my hands on a, uh, a Kraken. Cause that's the guy I want. And last up we have Dan from Arcata. I think it's how it's pronounced. Uh, I have an expert here. Maybe I can ask him. Here, back up, buddy. From A-R-C-A-T-A, uh, Arcata, California. Uh, he sent in two things. One, probably not going to show off in the booth here. He did send in a uh, Hubley, a vintage Hubley cap gun that, uh, with all the stuff going on on YouTube right now, I'm just probably not even going to show a gun <laughs> on screen. Uh, but he also did send in, and I love, absolutely love the way that this was <laughs> packaged and sent in here. Uh, it is uh, Boba Fett, number 491. Checking out that box. And uh, he's sort of compressed here between two air sacs. Uh, there we go. This is uh, Boba Fett, number 491. Uh, this is getting real. We are almost at 500. Not, uh, not much further to go. This guy's a little loose, but... That's just uh, a sign. That's an indication of the amount of love uh, that uh, love and battlefield experience that he's had. Another awesome piece. Um, so thank you to Dan uh, for the for Fet 491 and that cap gun that I'm not going to show on screen right now. It's just a cowboy gun, but you know whatever. Uh, and thank you again to Richard, Todd, Matt, and then Dan again. Thank you for watching this and all of our videos. Hit like, hit subscribe, check out our Patreon if you're in the position to help the channel grow. Every little bit helps, and we really do appreciate it. Thank you. Later.